All right, guys, it's Johnny Oliver here, Jamie Oliver's cousin, and I'm absolutely buzzing for carnival this year, so this is my Caribbean carnival cacao. So we're gonna keep things off with the plantain, or as we call it in England, banana. So we're gonna peel that down, so one skin, two skin, three skin, four skin. I'm just gonna chop that into tiny pieces. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dump that in a bowl and take it over to the microwave and put that in there for about Four days, all right, just to bring out that really sort of jerky, fruity, jerky banana flavour. Okay, so we're going to move on to the rice and peas now. Now, a lot of people think that rice and peas is made with actual garden peas, which is absolutely ridiculous. What I tend to do is get some Heinz baked beans instead, and what that does is it really draws out that tomatoey, jerky flavour. For the rice, I tend to use Uncle Ben's rice, there he is, the old bummer club, and I've gone with Mexican star rice just to bring out that extra spicy, jerky flavour. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to grab these beans, pour a couple of the beans into the rice there, give it a little jerk, jerk, jerk to bring out that spicy jerk flavour. I'm just going to pop that in the oven for about one hour. And now we're going to move on to the most important part of the meal, the jerk chicken. Okay, so a lot of people like to cook this from scratch, but me, I like to use ready cooked chicken breast from Sainsbury's. The most important bit is the seasoning. So what I'm going to do now is grab some salt, just pamper that onto the back of my wrist. I'm just going to flick that onto the chicken there. Now, a lot of people get worried that if you haven't cooked it yourself, there might be a few germs on it. Best way to make sure that doesn't happen, grab some anti back spray, just give it a couple of squirts, and that should be fine to put straight in the oven. Okay, now, whilst we're waiting for everything to cook, what I'm gonna teach you to make is my signature rum punch. What you wanna do is you wanna pre-make the rum in a glass, and then get an empty glass separately, so you can practice the rum punch technique. And then what you wanna do to create that signature spicy, rummy, jerky flavor, is as the rum is going down, you wanna punch that rum. So, what you wanna do there, just give that little punch. And there we go, everyone. My signature Caribbean carnival cookout. Simple, fun, and most importantly, jerky. I'll see you at carnival tomorrow, everyone. Bye.